Hello, I am Fang, founder and CEO of Tom Virginia Tech, and in this video I will very briefly touch upon a subject I have already mentioned in previous videos, the question of a classification of the sciences. This is part of a series of videos in which I will be introducing some of the foundational concepts of this company and of this field. Let me start uh, by saying that, of course, we are specifically inter interested here on quote, computer science, quote, quote, informatics, quote, and other related subjects, fields, domains. And of course, we have to respect and we have to appreciate the great achievements and contributions of many that came before us, but we have to enforce the highest standard, and even more so in science and engineering. Also, there is always room for some progress. First, let us review a, a few examples that serve us uh, here to see a little bit the relevance of the topic of discussion, how present and practical it is. And we can start by listing some scientific institutions or technological centers that are uh, very relevant uh, globally, such as the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and its Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Stanford University, Department of Computer Science, University of California, Berkeley, and its Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences, the University of, of, of Oxford and its Department of Computer Science, the University of Cambridge, Department of Computer Science and Technology, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Department of Computer Science, or the Tsinghua University and its Department of Computer Science and Technology. Also, we can look at, for instance, the number of jobs in a very popular social network. These are published by, again, great, uh, relevant, popular companies. When we look for the term computer science, we can see, for instance, in the US, the United States, 131,416 matches for this term. In the European Union, we can find 73,111 matches. In India we can see 50,593 results and in China we can see 10,621. Now we are going to introduce a very basic classification of the sciences to start working. This is a very short video, introductory video, and the classification criteria is the degree of scientificity. Here in the top we find physics and chemistry, the most perfect sciences, and there is a very simple way to characterize them. For example, if we, if we look into physics, probably the easiest uh, to characterize, it is the type of science that is able to derive universal laws. For instance, the law of universal gravitation. And here we also want to introduce another term, the term qualification. The fact that uh, the law of universal gravitation is such does not imply that it has to be verified in all domains or instances of reality. So we are talking about natural, universal, qualified laws. At the second level, we have considered biology. Biology is a problematic case in itself, and also I am not an expert uh, in this field, so I think it is, it is uh, appropriate to give it a rank of its own. Also, we don't have uh, time uh, in this video to go into detail. At the third level, we would put all the others. And this includes what we may call social sciences, such as economics, but also what is called model-based sciences. This, is a sub this would be a subcategory here. And in turn, here we would include mathematics mathematics as a subset uh, of model-based sciences. Now, if we have to be completely rigorous, we would only accept the first one here as two sciences, physics and chemistry. And then, of course, if we are flexible, we, we consider this hierarchy, we are willing to uh, consider this hierarchy, and we have 
biology here in fact as i already mentioned i am not an expert here and i, I understand this is a problematic case and we might even be willing to consider it here biology here and then we could have the other sciences here and i have already done i have already made some distinctions there but strictly speaking if we are going to be rigorous these are the the sciences because of of what i said basically and here i have drawn computer science as a separate in a separate box here and so the question is how does computer science in quotes here the term is problematic how does it fit in this hierarchy historically computer science uh, in the way it has been presented has to be considered as a subset of mathematics so it would have to be here this is the way it has been presented and in fact the name itself would be rather superfluous if this is the case there are other problems with the term and that is also why I stopped for me to mention the names of the relevant institutions. The terminology is important in science and in general when we have to be rigorous. And here at Torbellino Tech, we think that there is a possibility to present computer science as a true science of its own with distinct ideas and capable of deriving some universal laws. And this requires a reconsideration of some of the foundational concepts of the field. And we need to bear in mind that the constitution of a scientific domain is, generally speaking, a historical process, meaning that it takes several generations and some steps towards the generalization. In fact, we hypothesized a historical process that has not had a resolution yet. And this resolution is a precondition for the universalization of computer technology.